The Nikki Clark Show, transforming lives one story at a time. If you would like to be a guest or become a part of our live studio audience or even to become a sponsor, just go to www.nikkiclarknetwork.com. show taped live at La Creole and uh, we have Joel Sole who is a mortgage professional. Please welcome him to the show. <laughs> How are you doing tonight? I'm doing very well. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, it's great to have you here. Uh, we've been connecting for some time and finally the day is Finally meet the National yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. So, exactly. Are you originally from Toronto? I'm originally from Eastern Ontario. Ontario. I came to Toronto though probably about uh, 30 years ago. Okay. Love the city. Love uh, being in the suburb of Etobicoke. Okay, yeah. and that's where you've been. That's where I have been for the last 25 years. Or 25 years. Okay. Now, how long have you been a mortgage professional? I've been a mortgage professional now for four years. Okay. Prior to that, I was a I'm an accountant and I was a finance manager with Midway Foods actually, a national company actually for 23 years. And then what happened? What? Uh, there it was called, time to retire, think of what you wanted to do. And I uh, was talking with some people at our mortgage professionals office and said, well, with your expertise that you have in finance and how you can help people, why don't you get into the mortgage business? Okay. So they talked me into it, and here's where I am now. It's uh, mortgages for people. Okay, and what um, company do you represent? I work uh, for Northwood Mortgage Company. Okay. So you've been doing that for four years? Correct. And um, tell me a little bit about the mortgage business. What does that entail? Well, the mortgage business. Uh, mortgage business, what it really entails is, you know, meeting with clients and, and finding out what exactly their expectation, what do they want, you know, what's their desire. Do you want to buy a condominium? Are you looking for a townhouse? Are you looking for, uh, you know, a big house? Or, you know, where do you want this house? You know, and then seeing if they are financially viable to buy that house. And then putting them through that process and making sure they understand all of that mm -hmm. and then getting them to connect with their realtor, find that home, and pre-approving them. And when pre-approving them, I'm going through and selecting what do they need, what programs do they need, what rates do they need, and so on with the different lenders, because I've got 46 different lenders, banks, and all the rest that I can source upon right. to actually get the best rate and the best program to fit the client, of course. Okay. Um, are there some clients that are just lost cases? You can't look there are, and there are ones that I won't even call lost cases. I'll say they're future cases. Okay. I don't. There's very few I call a lost case, mm -hmm. but there are ones that are just not ready yet. Okay. You know, they think they are. They, you know, they make you know maybe twenty five, thirty thousand dollars, and they think they can buy a home. Okay. Reality is, you can't do that. You know, you just don't have enough income to do that. But I do keep. I keep in touch with those people. And as they progress, you know, I've had three or four of those people that back three, four years ago could now are in a nice home in the suburbs. Okay, so let me give you a scenario then. Yeah. Um, maybe I'm one of those, you know, disillusioned uh, <laughs> people right. uh, in making that range of money. Right. Uh, so how would you teach me then to prepare myself for the real deal? Well, where I have my expertise of finance behind me, I actually put them through the rigors of a budget. Okay. You know, when I, like I, said, I don't tell anybody, you know, you have no hope. There's no such thing as not having hope. You could win the lottery. No, it's right. They, anything can happen. But I simply go through, this is what you make. This is what you're spending. What can you cut out of this thing? Right. Okay, here, can you save? So, you know, you can't go for 5% down. But if you can get 10%, yes, you can. You know, so coach them that way so that when they do come back, and you do call them one year later, two years later, they have got their money, and they are in a better situation. Do you, do you work on... Um financing through your company or do you work with private lenders as well? I deal with private lenders. Those are honestly the worst case scenario people. Gotcha. You know. And if so I with, do put some they if have I do, credit, I guess? they have usually worse than bruise credit. Uh, there's bruise credit I can usually put through a B lender, but private lenders that's usually when it's someone who owes taxes, uh, really, really bad credit and have had a bad experience of some sort. And usually if I have those people, I will put them through no more than one year and coach them to get them at least to the, to the next level. Because if you're in a private, you're talking seven to 
13% interest rates. Okay. You know, you're talking very large interest rates. Okay. And of course, uh, for those people, and the same with ones that are, you know, further, I always put them into a, a smaller time frame and coach them to try to get them to where they can get a decent interest rate for their actual home. Okay. There, there are many mortgage professionals out there, but what sets you different from the others? What probably sets me different and that I truly believe is that I'm very honest. I hear a lot from clients that have dealt with other people. I got shocked. I went to sign the papers and that's when I found out what the rate was. That's not the way I work. As soon as I know what rate I can get for clients, I let them know before, long before I ever go. So you're very transparent. And, so I'm very transparent. I follow up with them as the whole process. I keep them up in loop. You know, I'm dealing with these, these clients here, or with these different lenders. You know, and, and as soon as I can get an answer from them, then I will let you know. Okay. So I said the, the biggest thing is I'm very transparent, very honest. Don't, do not uh, obviously tell somebody that I'll get them this rate. You cannot tell somebody you can get them a rate. Only after you have taken their information and went to a lender do you know what rate you can get them. You know if they're a good client, you're going to get them in a range of rates, but you don't know what rate you're going to get them, of course. So I think what the big thing that sets me apart is that I don't, I don't surprise anybody. Okay. I let them know exactly, uh, you know, uh, where what situation they're in and uh, what they can expect in the end, and long before they have the end. The instance you had in the star there, if someone is looking to get a better rate and they've got three or four years on a mortgage, I tell them very clearly: check. We need to check. Find out what kind of penalty you have, because what you can save on a mortgage versus what you might have to pay in a penalty does not make sense. I have one of those clients right now. He tried to get one last year. I told him, let's check that. You, you, you know, about $9,000 you owe the lender. You aren't going to save in that. Come see me next October. That's when you won't have any penalty, of course. Mm -hmm. you know, because I, I'm, not, I'm in this to help people, not just to make money. Okay. You know, that's, the, that's the big thing. That's the big thing. And what drives your passion to help people? What really, really, really drives my passion for this is I like to see people in their homes happy. They got what they got their home, and that they're happy enough that they're spreading my name around to other people. So I know I've done a good job for those people. It makes you it gives you a warm feeling when they pass you on. Some oh, it was this person that did. oh, this person that I got their mortgage for. The other one is it just yeah, the, the word of mouth. Word is of mouth. Is powerful marketing. Tool. Exactly. Yeah. What are some of the misconceptions then that people have? Um, you know, to mortgage. Probably the biggest misconception is more, you go to a mortgage broker if you can't get a mortgage from a bank. That's a big misconception. A mortgage broker's ability is to get you the best rate from the banks. What we are is we're the middleman. We actually negotiate with bank one, two, three, you know, credit union this or mono lender this and come up with the best rate, the best program for the person so that you're not the client have to go to this bank, that bank, and that bank. Because the truth is if you just go to a bank, they'll give you what they think is their best rate. But they'll never give you the best rate because what I can do is I negotiate to get a better rate. So it is proven that mortgage professionals actually get better rates for clients than what they would get if they went to their own bank. Other misconception is, I guess, that I charge fees. I don't charge fees. The only way I would ever charge a fee is if it was, as you said, a private guy. Or no, net. But if it's going through as someone with good credit, a conventional type of mortgage, I'm paid by a finder's fee from the actual lender. So there's no no fee to me. Those are the probably the biggest misconceptions. Excellent. Um, where can people find you, Joe? Uh, they can find me either from my phone number, you can get that, which is 416-553-8857, or they can get me through email at J-S-A-U-L-A-Y Sole, uh, which is at northwoodmortgage.com, and I also have a website, which is jsole at northwoodmortgage.com um, forward slash Joe Sole. So that's the three ways that you can actually find me, or you can find me on Facebook or LinkedIn. <laughs> I'm all of those sites as well. You're yes. everywhere. Awesome. I'm everywhere. Yes. Okay. Joe, it's been a pleasure. Thank been you pleasure. so much. Okay. Joe, saw everybody. We'll be back.